Spam comments are a big issue for some blogging websites. The main motive for users to add spammy comments on your website is the need to get backlinks by utilizing the website URL field in the WordPress comment form. Since larger part of the spam is created by bots, you can easily do away with them by utilizing free plugins and tools. The trickier part is to detect spam comments submitted physically by people. These undesirable comments are presented by real humans and are many times not related to the subject matter. So in this video, I will show you how to remove website URL fields from WordPress comment form. And I'll show you how you can do this using two methods. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. As you can see right here, this is a spam comment. This link you are seeing right here is not a good website for people to visit. Trust me, I've already visited it and it's not something good. So how can we do away with this field so that users will not be able to submit unnecessary URLs? Now if I open the same blog post in a new incognito window, you see that on the comment form, I have a website field where users can enter in their URL. So this is the very field that is giving users the opportunity to be able to add their URLs in comments. For us to be able to do away with the website field, we need to install a plugin. And this is the plugin I'm going to install, Comment Link Remove and Other Comment Tools by Quantum Cloud. If I scroll down, right here you see some of the features of the plugin. That is some of the functionalities the plugin can actually do. We are not really going to look at all of them. We are only going to look at some few features of the plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'll copy the name of the plugin. Right click, copy. Then I go to the back end of my website. I can exit from here. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. Under set plugins, I paste in the name of the plugin. And I have it right here. I click on install now. Now before you install the plugin, I'll advise you to make a backup of your website. If you don't know how to make a backup of your website, I have a video link in the description down below that will take you through step by step as to how you can backup your website. The plugin is installed. I activate. It is activated successfully and at the admin panel you see QC CLR settings. So all what you need to do is just go ahead and click on it and it will take you to the plugin settings right here. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and remove website field from comment form. So I select this then I scroll down, click on save changes. Now if I come over to the blog post, I open in a new private window. You see that I still have the website field right here. If I refresh the page, now the website field is gone. However, if we go to this particular comment, you still see the URL right there. How can we solve this? To remove this, we need to go back to the back end of our website. And this is the feature we are going to use. Remove hyperlink from comment author bio. So I select it, going down, I click on save changes. Now, if I go back to the blog post and refresh, you see that the text is still there. As you can see, if I try to click on it, it doesn't take me anywhere. Perfect. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Going back to the back end of my website, then I go over to comments. Right here is a comment where the person is having a URL as part of the comments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and approve the comment. Then I'll open the particular blog post in a new tab. Now if I scroll down, right here you see the comment and the link is clickable. So let's see how we can fix this so that this link will not be clickable. Going back to the common link remove settings. And this is the feature we are going to use. Remove HTML link tags in comments. So I select it. Then I scroll down. Save the changes. The changes is saved. Now if I go to the front end and refresh. You see that the link has changed into text. And it is no more clickable. So this is how you can remove the website URL field using a plugin. Now let's see how we can remove the website URL field using a custom code. To do that, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and reverse the settings we've performed. So I'll just untick all these. 
then I'll go ahead and save the changes. Now if I go back to the front end and refresh, you see that this has turned into a link again. So now let's use a custom code in order to remove the website URL field. So I'll go to the back end again, then I'll go over to Appearance, click on Team File Editor. I click on I understand. Next, I click on functions.php. And this is where I'm going to enter the custom code. So I just click at the end right here. And I have the code right here. I'll link up a page in the description down below where you can click to have access to this custom code. So I'll just select all, copy, come back in here. Then I'll go ahead and paste. Going down, before I update the file, I'll go back to the new incognito window to check if the website URL field is back. So if I refresh this page, right here you see that the field is back. So let's go back to the back end, then we go ahead and update the file. It is edited successfully. Now if I go back to the new incognito blog post and I refresh, you see that the website URL field is gone. Now if I come back to the blog post where I have links as part of the comment itself and refresh, you see that the URL is still there in the comment field itself. So the custom code we have used right here is only to take care of the website URL field and not the links inside the comment field itself. So if you really want to disable links inside the comment field itself, then you need to use the comment link remove plugin. However, using any of these two methods will depend upon your website's requirements. Maybe you just want to remove the website URL field and not take care of the links inside the main comment field. Or better still, you just don't want to install additional plugin onto your website. Then using the custom code will be best for you. So that's it on how to remove website URL field from WordPress comment form. Now, if you want to learn how to hide WordPress admin URL, Make sure you stick around to watch this video on your screen right now. Alright guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.